Okay chaps, welcome back to the workshop and uh, welcome back to part three of the CNC build that I'm building, a little project. Um, what I'm going to do today is just show you briefly how to assemble the Y carriageway onto this uh, Y extrusion here. Um, I've got all the kit that we need to do the job I think. A set of Allen keys, uh, that's the top plate, that's the bottom plate. Uh, NEMA 17 stepper motor, nice little motor, uh, an array of nuts and bolts, spacers, plastic bits etc, the castellated drive belt, we'll leave that later on. So, I've already started on the bottom plate of the carriageway and I've assembled the three guide wheels on there as you can see. Uh, I've just done this just to keep the video a bit shorter but I'll show you how to assemble this last wheel. Um, basically all, we, all we're using is a 5mm by 40 um, bolt which passes through the bottom there. Um, we've got a 5mm spacer which goes on next. Then we drop the wheel on. Then we've got a 3mm spacer, tiny one, that goes on to the top. <clears throat> and then uh, a 5mm nut just to secure it. Oops. A little bit fiddly, but the 5mm nut goes on, he says. Now, obviously I want to test this first, but um, really recommends that we lock tight these nuts on. Obviously we don't want them coming loose, but I'm just going to tighten them up by hand for the moment, just for trial purposes, so we can see what it's like. All the wheels uh, run pretty free there. Um, the next thing we've got to do is to fit the stepper motor. Um, make sure that you get it in the right orientation. By that I mean the plug for the, the power cable for the motor. Make sure that's going to the outside. So just pop that on the top and drop one of these small 3mm securing screws through the top. doesn't help when you've got big fat fingers like I have. Just leave it slack at the moment. Pop the next one on. Again we'll just we'll just put it on loosely. I haven't tried this so it seems to have come off pretty good off the printer. Yeah that screw's going in so the last one goes in. We're laughing. Also, uh, I recommend that you lock tight these screws as well, but we'll just see how it goes first. I want to make sure everything's in the right place and everything's working before I actually do the final fit. That's that. Now, screws are going in pretty good. Okay, so the stepper motor's on. You'll notice there's a, a flat ground on the, the shaft of the stepper motor. That is to take uh, the Allen keys on the castellated drive uh, pulley wheel. There. So all we have to do here is just drop that on and just nip it up for now uh, because we don't know the exact position and we won't know that until uh, we assemble the actual drive belt so that, that's the the bottom plate unit there that looks okay so we drop the top plate on like so and we secure the top plate on with these thumb wheels there so we've got four of those we'll just spin them on we're not going to over tighten them or anything because like i say this is a, a trial assembly just to make sure that our bits do fit and they're going to do the job. I'm quite pleased with that. Also, um, this top plate is put on with the thumb wheels because when we come to store the machine, obviously when that, that's on the track and you've got the, the X 
2020 section sticking out it takes up a bit of room so we've got the option of undoing those putting the plate on at 90 degrees so both rails are running parallel just to keep the space down so we can like store it under the bed or or whatever we want to do so okay now the proofs in, in the in the testing here we're going to slide this onto here i've taken the end plate off you can see i've just got it supported on the drill box and we'll just see if it fits so the name of the game is we want it to fit oh, that's nice we want it to fit nicely so it slides like so but obviously no play in it and that feels pretty good to be fair so I'm quite pleased with that that goes like that so just to give you a picture of what it will look like with the, the other bar on the other bar will be secured onto the top like this similar to that anyway yeah so that's looking looking something like I'm quite pleased with that uh, I'm not going to go into the video of uh, actually threading the belt through because believe you me that's going to be a, a little bit fiddly but what I'll do is I, I will assemble it off camera and um, in part 4 video I'll uh, zoom in on it so you can actually see how the belt's fitted, where it goes and where I've threaded it round etc. So that's about it for this one lads so I uh, hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, if you have, obviously like and uh, subscribe if you want to see uh, the rest in the series. And uh, you watch what you're doing and uh, keep safe. Okay, bye.